Glenn Karen Pettit. 15 years ago, I was too young to walk or talk. However, today, I stand proud, now able to read the name of my hero. Every day, I try my very best to make you proud. I know you are always watching over me until we meet again. Wow, Jim. Killed as many refer to you. I can't believe it's been 15 years. Sometimes it feels like yesterday, others an eternity. You, you know, it's, I'm really at a loss for words and people who know that mean that. Since you died 15 years ago, there's been a void left in our family. No amount of time has healed till we meet again one day. Now, Austin, we're listening to uh, live, we're listening to the names of the victims down there at uh, Ground Zero at the 9-11 Memorial. And you and Tristan visited not too long ago? Uh, it, was back, it was back in January. Tristan uh, was going on a college trip to Rutgers uh, to in New Brunswick, New Jersey. And on Sunday morning, we stopped by New York City because neither one of us had ever been there before. And we had a chance to visit the uh, Ground Zero Memorial. Amazing down there. I've got a cousin who works at Fordham University in the Bronx and we were going to go try to see him but we just spent some time after we visited Wall Street and a few other places and just saw the memorial an amazing place and it was just very hushed very respectful and everybody should go see that uh, just if you have a chance to go to New York at some point and see that sometime all right thanks Austin thanks everyone for joining us we'll be back at five but of course all the day's news is on our website wrg.com have a great Sunday